ഔസുബില്ലാഹിമിനശൈതോനിറജീം ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിറഹ്മാനിറഹീം കൗലും മാറൂഫും വ മഹ്ഫിറത്തുൻ ഖൈറും മിൻ സദഖതിയത് ബഉഹ അദ വല്ലാഹു ഗനിയ്യൻ ഹലീം Dear friends assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I recited surah al-Baqarah ayat number 263 In this ayat Allah tells us that you are not allowed to disturb or to insult the person who is coming to ask for something so uh, we people sometime we understand that they are beggars or they are professional beggars and many people they insult them and uh, they disturb them and then they they talk with them with a rude way so that is not allowed in islam and allah said it is not allowed for you to say the words which are irrespectable so you have to deal with those people who came to you they ask for some help or ask for some food or money or something so you have to give them if you have if you have nothing then you have to say the kind words good words and then forgive them and request them that i am unable to help you this time inshallah when allah will give me i will be ready to help you so this way you have to leave them with kind words so this is the message which allah said in this ayat so we read this one allah said qawlum ma'rufun qawl mean the talking the way the conversation qawlum ma'rufun the kind words call the words and maruf kind so kind words good words good type of conversation wa and maghfiratun and forgiveness khairun is better min sadaqatin is better than the sadqa or charity yatbauha followed by azan teasing halting the person so qawlum ma'rufu wa maghfiratun khairum min sadaqati yatbauha aza allah said kind words and forgiveness are better than the charity followed by teasing halting or injuring a person wallahu and allah ghaniyun and allah is self sufficient and allah is free from all types of needs halim and allah is with all tolerance so we got in this the message that when a person is just to come for uh, something the person is asking about help or for food for other need so if we are able to help then we have to help the person but if we are unable to help then we have to say the good words and kind words and uh, uh, say the person please forgive me this time i apologize now and uh, next time when inshallah allah will give me i will be able to help you and we are not to uh, tease the person we are not to uh, discuss or insult in a in a way like the people they do they insult the people they say they are professional beggars or something so that is not allowed so this way when a person is needful person 
the person is needy person came to you and request to you for something he ask he or she ask you uh, spread his or her hands just for something uh, need like uh, uh, from you and if uh, if you are able to help because if you have uh, the uh, the things what the person say you need if the money or food or something whatever the question or the person is asking so if you are able to help then it is better you have to help the person with kind words and then leave the person with good words this is the way which allah wants from us and this way in surah duha allah said wa amma saila fala tanhar and you are not allowed to disturb the person who is asking for help to you because sail mean the person who has needful question he request you for something help for food or something so you have to help the person and you are not allowed to disturb the person not allowed to un- insult the person not allowed to say that this person has uh, good uh, good uh, manners or his good uh, dress and uh, is uh, look like better and why this person is asking for uh, money or food or something so this person uh, should do his own work and uh, why he is coming to ask the person why he is look like a beggar so you disturb the person you are not allowed to say these words allah said you the 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 problem like this type of uh, behavior which you are dealing with the person you leave this type of things towards allah because if the person is asking you for help for something and if the person is lying then that is the that is between allah and him but you are not allowed to search out about that one you are not to spy that one but you are only allowed to give him or her something if you have and then you have to even if you have you have to give that one with and and give that one with kind words and leave the person with kind words so that is the main thing which allah wants because allah said qawlu ma'rufun you have to say kind words wa maghfiratun and uh, <coughs> and also forgiveness or apologize khairun it is better min sadaqatin than the charity than the sadqa yatba'uha followed by azan uh like followed by halting the person or teasing the person or injuring the person so you are not allowed allah said you are not allowed to give sadqa and after giving sadqa you are insulting the person you are halting the person you are teasing the person that is not allowed so you are uh, if you have nothing allah said it is better don't give to the person something but you have to say the good words and leave the person but keep in mind according to islam according to islam if you have money if you have resources if someone came to you just to request you please give me uh, something because for food for shelter for uh, uh for uh, like uh, uh, other need so anything which you have and if you are uh, you have capability to help the person and if the person ask you and uh, it becomes compulsory for you to help the person because you have the thing it is better you have to help the person but if you are not to help the person maybe the person is in genuine need like in one hadith the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that is hadith e qudsi mean allah tells us at the day of judgment allah will tell the person that i was hungry you never gave me something food to eat and i was thirsty you never gave me water and uh, i was uh, uh, ill and you never came to uh, uh, to look at me to look after me so these type of questions will be asked by allah to the person so 
uh, the person will say to Allah, O oh Allah, how is possible I understand that you were ill or you were thirsty or you were in a need of food? So you are free from that one. So then Allah will say, yes, uh, my that slave, that person, he was in a need of food. He came to you or you understand understood that time and you never helped that one. You never gave the food to that person. If you were to give the food to that person, you were to find me there also to help you also. And because I was thirsty, it means my that slave was thirsty and you understood that time that that is thirsty but you never helped him to give something to uh, quench the thirst so you never gave him uh, to drink something so if you were to give something to drink that person you were to find me there also and similarly Allah will say the person I was ill mean like uh, my that slave was ill and he was he or she was in a need of uh, treatment medicines and other requirements you were having that time the money and resources but you never helped that person to buy the medicine to to look after the person to so you are not help that person so if you were to help that person the ill person so you are to find me there also so that is the way so this way it becomes compulsory for us if we have resources then we have to help the people who need that one and if they ask us so for help and they are we don't understand they are beggar but we must know that they are in a genuine need we have to help them also if we are unable to help for example if we have nothing then we are not to say the bad words we are not to say rude words we are not to insult the people but we are just to say kaulum marufun if we have to say the kind words wa maghfiratun and uh, apologize uh, it is khairum min sadaqatin. Allah said that is the better words because these are better. And Allah also said in this ayat, khairum min sadaqatin yatba'uha aza. It means if you give the sadaqa or if you are giving sadaqa or if you are giving some charity or you helping someone and then after that you are teasing with the words also your rude words or your bad words or you saying something which is not better and that will tease the person to whom you are helping so it mean Allah said that is teasing not that person it is teasing me this way Allah said Wallahu ghaniyun halim halim mean who has tolerance so Allah said I am tolerant tolerant that time so i i am also this i am also facing the your words and i am feeling that one you are saying to that person who came to you and request you to help the help the person but you are not helping or if even if you are helping and with the help if you are saying some words which are teasing that person hurting that person and that is not hurting that person not teasing that person but those things are hurting me this way i am halim i am facing that one with the tolerance so this way at the day of judgment everything will be before you so keep in mind so this way it is better that we have to follow the command of Allah that we are finding in this ayat that if a person who is requesting us for something so we have to help the person and uh, and say with and help with kind words and also leave the person with kind words and uh, and request Allah or oh Allah accept us and we must be uh, we must be thankful to Allah and thankful to that person also because that person got uh, that person received the charity received our help and uh, that help which is favorable uh, and with the blessings of Allah we get more rewards at the day of judgment we must be uh, we must be happy uh, when we give 
help to the person in form of money or some need whatever that person need if we are to fulfill that one we must think that we have done it just for allah so and not help the person but this money or this thing is reserved just with allah at the day of judgment we will get there also so keep in mind some people we have seen that when they help the people and, uh, and then uh, and then in their life if they if they are in a position that uh, they need help and at that time they they find they they find in their mind that those people uh, to whom they helped they will come to help him or they will come to help them so and if they are not to come to help them so then they think oh at that time when they were in a critical situation and uh, we helped them but they are not to help us now you don't say these words because these words will destroy all types of your reward, reward which you got from charity or sadaka that when you gave the things to that person so it means that will finish so you because you have given when you give charity or when you give sadaka you understand that has gone towards allah fi sabilillah in the way of allah is not you are not giving to that person you are giving that one to allah anything which you are giving to allah you must understand that the reward is coming to from allah so if a person you don't expect that person will help you in your critical point or critical time when you will be in a need of help that will help you don't expect that expect that at your critical situation when you will be in a disturbed situation that you will be helped by allah because allah will make the mind of a person in allah in the heart of people and they will be able to help you so this is the point we have to make so that is a need for us so this way we understand that allah is helpful this way allah said wallahu wallahu ghaniyun allah is ghani allah has so much so many things because if we give something allah increases that one uh, multiply that thing with with too much rewards and that reward will be given at the day of judgment so that is the point which allah wants us that allah will give us so much uh, at the day of judgment we can't expect because allah is ghani so this way uh, and we are not to tease the person who to whom we are helping or we are giving money or giving something and to help that person we are not to tease that person we are not to insult that person we are just to give with kind words and leave the person with kind words even if a person is not genuine need and if a person is just to came came just to come to us and uh, uh, request for help but if the person is not in a, not in a need of help uh, we don't uh, expect in our mind but uh, if that person is lying so he must understand that uh, this is the uh, situation between him or uh, and allah and between her and allah so because uh, we don't know what is the intention what is the reality in the mind of a person uh, is the question or uh, the help for for help the person is demanding that is real or genuine or is a fake so we don't know but allah knows but when we are helping the person we expect that we are not giving that help to that person but we expect that this sadqa this money this thing we are giving to allah and in the way of allah fi sabilillah so that is reserved with allah that is the intention we must have after learning from this ayat this way allah said qawlum ma'rufum wa maghfiratun khairum min sadaqatin yatba'uha adha wallahu ghaniyun halim and uh, and uh, kind words and forgiveness are better than the charity or sadaqa followed by teasing or hurting the person and allah is free from all types of needs and allah is with the all tolerance 
and we must help the people we are not to be rude to the people because allah said amma sa'ila fala tanhar so we are not to tease the person we are not to disturb the person we must leave the person with kind words just help the person and leave with kind words and that is the better thing which we got from this ayat we request allah that allah uh, allah help us to keep on right way on sirat e mustaqim and uh, uh, if allah gave us money allah gave us resources we must distribute with the people also like you can see when you are shopkeeper and when you are sitting in the shop if you are sitting in the morning and the whole day if no one is coming to uh, buy something from your shop you can't get any risk you can't get any money because the money that comes to you just comes to you when people they come to buy things from your shop so same like that the money that comes to you after the people when they come to you and buy the things from your shop you get money so this way the money that came to you um, by the people and you have to spend that also with the people also like help the parents spend with the parents spend with the relatives or spend with the orphans or the prisoners or the passengers or the people in need so we have to not spend for ourselves that but in that wealth are that resources and because all the people they have shared so we have to do we have to spend according to the teachings of islam whatever allah wants us we have all of that from quran and sunnah we have to follow sharia completely and allah will be happy holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be happy with us when we are just to follow completely the sharia of holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam based on holy quran and sunnah and we request allah to give us tawfeeq to do that one to follow that one to make allah happy amen